Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial from Mira FX. So in this video we'll be learning to make this title reveal animation with some trails in a very simple and easy way. So I'll first create a new composition I'll name this trails I'll set this to 1920 by 1080 resolution with a duration of 15 seconds and I'll hit OK. So now we'll first create some random background here. This is fine. I'll name this background and I'll hit OK. Now I'll click on this T button here so that we'll enable the type tool and I'll type in some random text. OK, I'll type in trails. And now I'll expand the text layer here and from animate, I'll add a property called rotation. Okay, I'll change the rotation value to 360. Now I'll add another property called scale. I'll set the scale value to zero. And I'll expand the range selector. I'll click on this timer button here for offset. Make sure you're at the first frame, set the value to zero. And I'll move around three seconds forward and increase the offset value to 100. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the animation happens. Okay. And I'll move one more second forward and simply click on this so that a keyframe is created. So now I'll go to the effects panel and from time, I'll choose an effect called echo and I'll change the number of echoes to 10 and decay to somewhere around 0.75. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the animation happens with some trails. Okay, and that is what we need. In order to make this looping, this is what we can do. I'll hold Alt on my keyboard and click on this timer button here so that an expression editor opens up and I'll simply type in loop out and in the brackets that we have here, I'll open the double quotes and choose a property called ping pong. If I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the animation continues and then goes back and it would continue until the end of the duration of the composition. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects, you can always reach out to me on Instagram. See you guys next time with another tutorial.